it's wonderful to put these parks in and to see everybody come out of the woodwork. The beauty behind it is you'll have a five-year-old up to a 30-year-old all having the same amount of fun and interacting and you're just all here for the same vibe, you know. When you come out and you build, you, you have pride in what you do. You, you have a sense of community. You come out and you're riding with people, you're building with people. It's just like you meet people and you feel part of something and you realize that like biking can be something that's like bigger. When you've got a volunteer effort that's working together from all walks of life over a several year period, I mean, you start to tune it and tweak it and you get input and they put love into it and it comes out a lot better. One of the goals when we built the park is to open up mountain biking to new audiences because honestly, buying a bike, learning where the trails are, traveling out to the mountains, that's, that's a lot to do, particularly you know, if, if, you, if you don't drive. Either you choose not to have a car, you can't afford a car, or you're under 16. Mountain biking hadn't been very accessible to you. There's so many kids, and adults for that matter too, that don't have places like this to go, so they go out and, and build their own places, um, oftentimes without permission. Um, then you have issues of sustainability and safety, you know. And so the idea here is let's build something the right way that's fun and sustainable and gets people excited. It's reclaiming an area that was considered blight in the community. This park used to be filled with heroin junkies and crackheads, and now it's filled with adrenal junkies. High Bridge change the community in a very big way that means something to everybody. And they will put that here. And they will find the parkland. New York City is, you know, I want to say that New York City is the capital of the world. And in a park in New York City, they gave all this space to a mountain bike trail for mountain bikers. That's a big deal. The unexpected thing was really how it brought the actual cycling community together. I was more expecting kind of general people to understand our sport better, but I think really the cycling community understands their community better as a result of the park, so it's, it's a pretty neat gift. This is not for me. This is for everyone. Done properly and managed well, these parks can be a real asset to every community. It can happen here in northern Manhattan, it can happen anywhere in the world.